Hey, it's just me, Ghetto Mama, and it is St. Patty's Day. But I've got brunch here, and it doesn't have nothing to do with St. Patty's Day. I don't know what I'm going to do later for supper. I was thinking about making something with cabbage and, you know, St. Patrick is. But my family does not like corned beef, so that's totally out of the question. Anyway, this is what I'm having for my brunch. Cherry tomatoes. These are uh, pickles. I need to go to the store. I need more stuff because I'm almost out of cherry tomatoes and I don't have any more pickles left. And I have a hot dog and mustard and ketchup and some cheese. I was going to make eggs and sausage for the family, but Big Son has to go get his truck smogged and he did not seem interested. But I'm really hungry. So... Here I am. I guess we all had the creeping crud, the cough, and everything. And now the little one, she's starting to get it. So I'm really hoping that she don't get super sick. Actually, this is the first time she's had anything, any kind of cold or anything, since she was born. And she's 16 months old, so that's a pretty good track record, wouldn't you say? I'm weird. It's a Swiss cheese. I like it dipped in mustard and ketchup. And I have a beggar, but he's already had a treat, haven't you? He's already had a treat, so. <laughs> I'm sitting in my grandma chair with my feet up. You know, I'm really happy about a bunch of you mukbangers because you're starting to eat more healthy now and I'm really happy because you know actually the way you eat is like preventative medicine because if you eat crap you're going to feel like crap and you're going to look like crap you're going to be too ton tilly like me this is years of crap You're probably thinking, oh, well, you don't have nothing good but on your plate today. But, you know, it's a lot healthier than me having tons of carbs, tons of sugar. Pickles are, like, fermented, I think. I don't know, but it has vinegar. Vinegar is very good for people. So that's a plus. And cherry tomatoes. I, I just dipped it in ketchup and mustard. That's a plus because you know what? This is real. Natural. There's no artificial flavors or coloring in this. Sunshine, water, and soil, and maybe a little bit of love. So that's a good thing. Now we get to the cheese. I'm going to dip it. Cheese is milk. This is not organic cheese, so... This is just regular cheese. Probably has lots of hormones in it from the cow's milk and all that, but it's it's still kind of good for you. And mustard, it has all this um, turmeric in it and stuff like that. Mustard's really good for people too. And last but not least, a hot dog.
Maybe the parts of this hot dog, the meat, isn't the desirable parts of a cow or a pig or whatever. But this hot dog is, um, they're remaking them now where they don't have all these chemicals and fillers and weird stuff in them. So, you know, <coughs> there's not a lot of sugar in here, not a lot of carbs, you know, but like I say, it's processed, but this particular brand, Oscar Mayer, is not making them so nasty anymore. So hot dogs, it's okay. So, what are you guys going to do for St. Patrick's Day? Are you guys going to cook a whole bunch of uh, St. Patrick's Day um, food? Are you going to take part in some um, green beer? I'm in Reno. We have a um, St. Patrick's Day crawl where everybody gets dressed up like leprechauns and crap like that. And they wander the streets of Reno with a big cup in their hand. They go from bar to bar because they pay $20 for this cup. And you go, can go into the bar and get a drink. I don't know if a drink is free. Well, you paid for the cup. I don't know if it's a refill or a discount or what, but that's what they have for the um, leprechaun craw. I've never done the leprechaun craw before. We also have the um, the zombie craw in October. We're under the arch in Reno. They do the Michael Jackson thriller dance. It's fun. Been to that one a few times. But with all this craziness going on and people killing everybody, I really doubt that I'm going to go to any of these um, activities anymore because people are crazy and you just don't know to keep staring at me. so you just don't know so you know it's better just be home and be safe we're okay You know, a lot of times staying home is a lot better anyway, because think about it, gang. You pay all this money for your rent for your house, or your house payment, for your utility bills, your internet, your cable. And then if you go to an event or something, You're leaving all the stuff behind. And, you know, I mean, it's fun to get out. I'm not saying, like, stay home, be a recluse or anything, but if you think about it, a lot of stuff is televised on TV so that you can watch it on TV and feel like you're part of it. You know, I paid big money to go to concerts and stuff like that, and I've got to a concert, and people were rude, people were drunk, people were getting high, and it wasn't pleasurable, you know what I mean? I didn't even have a good time, not at all. So what was the point of me spending $150 to go see somebody at a concert and have people bang into me or wouldn't sit down in their damn seats 
everybody was standing up because they were so excited over this person. And I just wanted to sit down and relax. I wanted to have a good time. I didn't, I don't want to stand up. I don't want to get high from this person over here smoking or whatever they're doing. And I didn't want beer spilled on me. And then I got up to go to the bathroom at intermission time. And guess what? Somebody was in my seat. I want to come back. That was unreal. I could not believe that. And then I got to an argument. I said, hey, my seat. And this person told, oh, no, mother. Mm -mm. This ain't your seat. I'm, this is my seat. I'm like, mmm, from my seat. And so then you know how they have like the ushers and the security people in there? So I go get one of them. I said, these people are in my seat. And uh, there was no way for me to prove that was my seat, even though it was my seat. <coughs> and a stupid idiot. I was in my seat, would not get up and budge, not at all. You know, I was like really stupid. My seat wasn't that good of a seat. I mean, it was a seat, but it wasn't really that good of a seat to argue with. So, oh, excuse me. So, second half of the concert, I had nowhere to sit. So, I went up to the rafters, you know, the up tall, because like I was like in the second... Like they had the first level, but the second level, I was on the second level, and then they had the third level. So I had to go up to the third level and hang on the, hang on the railing and look over to watch the concert, and the people were like that tall because I was so far away versus being that tall because I was this close in my seat. I swear, no good. So anyway, it's St. Patty's Day, and if I do anything Irish for um, dinner tonight, I will come back and I will show you. We will have a mukbang, and um, yeah. I didn't show you my beverage, because it's in my 7-Eleven cup, but I'll show you what I'm having. Diet Mountain Dew. Alright gang, I'll see you later.